back to up and Adams. You're looking at the divisional round playoff picture. Look at the whole playoff picture. So let's do it. Matchups could potentially look a little bit crazy. We've got some spicy ones. Bengals versus Chargers. What? Matthew Hamilton is here. Uh, Tom Curran didn't even mention the hat. He just thinks this is like something I would normally wear, apparently. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised. He usually comes with a strong hat game, so I was a little disappointed in him today. Yeah, he's got like the newsy cap, but, you know, I'm Armand. Yeah. Was that a dab? <laughs> right. I'm just trying to make you laugh. All right, let's do this. We've got a lot going on here. So New Year's Eve style, we've got countdown to the playoffs, taking a look at who is in the running for a playoff spot. Last show of the year, let's go NFC style. These are your NFC teams in the playoff picture countdown. Eagles, Vikings, Niners, Cowboys, they punched a spot. They can ride to 2023 without a worry. But for the rest of them, don't let all the work you did in 22 go to waste. You both keep at it and start the new year strong, just like these teams will. First up, the ones, these ones are shooting for the stars, right? And they don't miss, by the way. Teams like these are the guys who show up, you know, dressed to the nines, black tie, to a normal New Year's party. They're they're trying they're the ones really starting to get on the right foot. They're making toast. They're telling everybody, you know, how they adopted um, a chimpanzee in some rogue forest you've never heard of that they're going to be supporting for the next 365 days. You know who I'm talking about. These are the role models. They're your NFC division leaders, the Eagles, Vikings, Niners, Buccaneers, then wildcard teams that you're looking at right now. Um, the Cowboys, the Giants, and the Commanders. These are the guys who desperately want to stick to their resolutions. They made a positive change. They need that extra oomph to carry their good work into 2023, though. The Giants, by the way, can clinch a playoff spot this weekend with a win over the Colts. And so, Hammer, we went through the playoff picture. The Packers looked really down and out a few weeks ago. The door left open just a crack, and they can sneak in somehow. How can they join the party, and do you think they can yeah, so they can get in if they win out and either have the Commanders lose one game or the Giants lose both of their games. So there's a real possibility that they can make this happen. And I think we've seen them turn it around. We've seen the chemistry between Rodgers and his weapons come a long way. Uh, I think he's also just healthier. We talked about it a few months ago. I think that thumb was really bothering him and affecting him more than he let on. But... This defense has been a huge part of the turnaround as well. Uh, when you look at what they've done over oh, the yeah. last four weeks, they've been a top 10 defense. And, um, you know, Joe Barry caught a lot of heat during that time, but Matt LaFleur stood by him, was really steadfast. He never wavered that Joe Barry was the guy to, to lead this defense. And uh, he stepped it up and turned it around. So uh, as for whether or not they are going to do it, I do think they beat Minnesota this weekend, and it's going to come down to Packers wow. Lions Week 18. And I think that the Lions are going to be the ones that end up getting it <gasps> done. I love what we've seen from the Packers over the last month. I think it's a sign of good things to come in 2023, but I just don't think this is their year. Okay, I got a pool boy here who was really excited about that first thing you said, and now he's jumped into the pool and no sight to be seen with that other part. Lions taking down the Packers to eliminate them from the playoff contention. Not wow, wow. But it's so fun. I mean, I'm rooting for Vikings fans this weekend, but I mean, nothing cooler than taking down the Packers on their own. Can you imagine how much fun that would be for a tortured fan base like the Vikings? Uh, yeah, they've been waiting for this. So Yeah. What do you got? Uh, so the other team that we're looking at that's been, you know, kind of on that bubble, the Commanders. I know we talked about it a little bit yesterday with uh, with Wentz taking over the starting job. What's the path for them, and do you see them making it happen? Okay. The path for them is if they win out, they're in. So it's all in their control. They got the Browns this week. I do think they beat them. And then here's where it gets interesting. And, and, and I mean, Hamilton, you're sweet to ask me how to do it, but you you broke this down for me. If the Eagles beat the Saints this week, they will have clinched the NFC East in the one seed in the NFC, obviously. And that means Washington's Week 18 opponent, the Cowboys, has they've got nothing to live for. Nothing to gain here in this game. So they're locked into the five seed either way. So if the Cowboys sit Dak and the Cowboys sit other key players, which they would be smart to do, do you tell me Washington can't win there? They got a playoff spot waiting for them for the taking. It is gift wrapped for them to do. So the more I've thought about it, Hammy, in these past 24 hours, the more excited I am to see Carson Wentz sort of get this opportunity. Um, this is probably it. I don't know if you'd agree with that, but it's 
his last chance yeah. to show something, to earn some respect, some interest from around the league, uh, and show people he wasn't the problem the other places he was. And I, I kind of hope he takes it and runs with it. Do you think he gets it done? Yeah. I, 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 be, for sure. For sure. That, that, that Eagles, would be will, beat this, Eagles will beat the Saints. Eagles will beat the Saints. And, and the Cowboys will rest everyone. Yeah, I think that's a likely scenario. And it, it would be fun to see, you know, it was, it was kind of, it was rough how, how he was kind of pushed out of Indy and, and had all that blame heaped on him. So it'd be a heck of a story to see Wentz get this done and get Washington into the playoffs after everything, after the way everything transpired over the last, t- uh, over the last calendar year. Tell me if I'm wrong. Chase Young played, he was out there, but he played on less than 60% of snaps, right? Yeah, so he's still working back up to full strength. So, uh, you know, he's going to be more and more of a factor with each passing week now, for sure. Okay, look, they got to beat the Browns and they got to win against a Cowboys team that has nothing to play for, probably. If the, I mean, Eagles, do your job. Do your job in this situation for your fellow NFC East brethren. All right, we've got Eric Weddle on the show. He's probably like, why are you wearing, why are you wearing this hat? What is happening? I'm dressing like our mom. Okay, what, what is going on? Where are we? Now we're in the gym. I'm in Cabo. He's in the gym. I don't know what's going on. We'll be back right here with the Grit List. Look at that smile. That doesn't look very gritty to me. 